Okay. Today I'm going to try to replace the lens assembly on a Samsung WB350F. These are neat little cameras. I always kind of like them. This one got dropped and the lens is all snafu'd. Haven't done one of these before, but let's see how it goes. So I'm going to start with these screws on each side of the camera. And then see where I have to go from there. I would assume this lens goes in from the back, but I don't know that for sure. But most do. Gonna take the bottom off. I don't know. We'll find out. Wait a little bit and see what we can find out. Nothing in there. Okay, let's see if this wiggle this loose a little bit. Not so far. I wonder is there any chance there's one under there? Taking this just off screen to get my tweezers under that leather a little bit. See if there's something under there. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Right, let me... There's only one screw in the base plate, so I can't imagine there's a lot that this does. But let's see if it comes off. This is a toughie. I'm not sure how this sucker comes apart. I don't see anything up near the top. Alright, it feels like... Got it started here. Okay, there we go. Just a little leverage to pry that. Try not to force this too much. Probably see if we can split this in here and in here. We're getting there. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Okay. Now, come on. Oh, there's a little gap up here. Sometimes you can take one of these little pry tools and just sort of zip it under there and slide it across here. There we go. Okay. Well, there's that. All right, so let's see where the LCD goes. What holds that in place? All right, that folds over. All right, I would guess we'll have to take that off, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Because if I can get into where I'm going here, that'll be easier. So let's get these going. See a screw here. And a screw here. And I'm a little concerned as to how far that wraps around this side. Eh, maybe not. Alright, can I lift that? up and the short answer is no all right so yep i think this has to go so let's come back here see how this flex cable comes out all 
that just lifts up and folds over which is good okay now you could disconnect that but again I'm always I'm all about not disconnecting something if I don't have to so I'm just gonna fold those out of the way the more I have to disconnect the more likely I am to break one of those ribbon cables and I hate that now if I'm gonna put any damage or any stress on those where I might tear them or damage them well then yes I'll take them off but for now I'm just gonna fold them out of the way sometimes you can even take a little something and prop it up there keep any extra stress off it just took a little cap from a spray can here all right not feeling great about that so I better take it off Yeah. I'm gonna reconsider. I'm gonna wait. I'm not sure which kind of clip that one is there, so I'm gonna try to wait. All right. So looks like that's in the ballpark. Now over on this side, there's these guys hinge over a little clip over here. So we just want to lift those up and hopefully come on there we go okay there's that well that's most of it because here comes and here we go it's trying to come out all right so we are going to have to replace the sensor we're going to take the tape off of this All right, so we're going to pop that tab. Now we're going to get the tape. This is that's the lens assembly. This is the tape to the CCD. So we're going to move that piece of tape and pop that little tab. You can use tweezers. You can maybe get your fingernail under there. And then we're just going to wiggle that out of there. Whoops. Okay. That's it. It's out. Now we're going to have to replace this sensor. Now we're going to do that on here that way we won't put any undue stress on that camera so the first thing we need to do is get this protective material off of here basically just tape I think now get it from the end and then start peeling it up Okay. Now you don't want to get anything in there, no dust, no crud, so work in a clean environment. I'm going to move this aside. We're, now we're going to try to lift up this carefully without tearing this because we're going to try to reuse this. Just being, not being too aggressive here. Don't want anything to go flying when I take this off. I'm not sure if there's anything. I think it's just a dust cover, so that's cool. All right, looking good. Okay, so we're gonna save this because we're gonna reuse it. I suppose I could use the one the new one came with too. Not sure. All right, so now we're just gonna transfer the sensor to the new one. So it looks like there's just three screws that hold this in. Now, again, be careful. We don't know what's under here, so there might be a protective piece of glass, 
Some cameras have what's called the low pass filter, which is just a different kind of color piece of optical glass. Um, so don't just be careful, go slow. Yep, see that little guy in there? That's got to come too. Alright, so we're going to move that. See this has a piece of tape for the new one? Now, these you want to be careful with and get this moved just the way it is. So we're going to take that out of the way. Just going to set it nearby. And then, I'm going to take this piece and kind of get it out on a piece of microfiber cloth here. And then we're going to just carefully wipe it off. And drop it in place. And then I just got to move it to where it belongs. Okay, need to keep that clean, and I believe I've done a good job doing that. If it's not clean, take it back out, clean it off with a microfiber cloth, and then reinsert it. It only fits in a little pattern, but that's it. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to give the sensor a quick clean here. And then put that back on. Oops, forgetting stuff. Then move my little piece of tape holder here. That's just to keep that circuit flex where it's supposed to stay. We'll put our sensor on. Press that onto the tape. Get our screws back in here. I can't tell if that's seating properly or not. It doesn't quite feel right to me. There we go. I didn't quite have it sitting sitting down there right there. There's a little little locator tab piece of plastic. Come on. Okay. And last but not least, we're just going to push our old lens assembly aside. We won't need that guy again. Okay, I'm going to take our little protective piece of tape on here and try to set that back on there about where it was. Alright, that'll keep some dust and crud out of there. Okay, now I just got to put it back together. So I'm going to drop that in there first and just wiggle it in place. Okay, there we go. Now, just lightly press this circuit board back where it goes. Now, one of my favorite parts is getting these little suckers back in here. Be careful, don't tear them because then it's garbage and you gotta start over. So you just lift them up a little bit. There we go. And there's a little hole in there and that's kind of to help you guide it in there. Sometimes it's a little easier said than done. All right, same thing on this guy. Lift it up, make sure that tab is open first. I'm gonna flip this around a little bit because it's a little easier for me to flip this, this away. 
Now that is a sensor, which of course is a little bit easier. This is the lens assembly, which perhaps I should lift that up a little bit. If I lift it up a little bit, I can take some of the tension off it, perhaps. Ah. Alright, this is not going as well as I'd like it to, but this is my favorite here. Try different tweezers here. See, I'm putting a little more stress on that than I'm comfortable doing. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to pop this tab up again. Take this one out. Okay, now I'm going to see, perhaps it's easier if I put these in here first. So I'm going to lean them in this way. Oh yeah, I think this will be easier. I think. Okay, I think I got that one. I think it looks good. I think I got that one. Okay, then see if we can wiggle this in the rest of the way. But see, sometimes there's not enough room to do that. So, I don't know if I can. Close. And I don't want to tear those. I don't want to put too much stress on that. I think, I think. Okay, I think. Phew! Yep, just barely. Okay. Now that they're mostly in there, you can pop those tabs one more time just to make sure and then make sure these cables are seated properly. And I think that one looks okay. So I don't uh, can't tell. Is that in there crooked? Maybe I maybe I will adjust that one a little bit. There we go. That looks better, I think. Okay. All right. Well, that should be it. We'll put our little cover tapes back on here. They're there just so they don't come loose, basically. Okay. Let's clip our little bracket housing back on here. Start on this side because it's got to go over these little tabs right there and there. You got to kind of push that in until it clicks over those guys. Okay, and then we can lightly wiggle this guy back in place. Okay, and put the screws back in. Okay. Okay. These are all regular Phillips head screws, so you really don't need anything in the way of a special tool for this. Just a small enough set of precision screwdrivers is great. All right, fold our LCD back in place. Give that a quick clean here, although there's nothing in this cover, so we can always clean it after. All right, fold our this circuit board panel back in place. Get it to all right now. Where 
did that little screw go right there. Now I just gotta figure out how to get it lined up. Ah, there we go. Whoops. There we go. Okay, I was trying to push that over too far. So right there is where this little screw came from. Alright. Put our cover back on and just kind of, I think, wiggle it gently. May have to give it, eh, you know what, let's give it a little lean on this side first because it's got to go over. See, it's got to go over the USB output and the little strap lug. So let's see if we can't start that side first, maybe a little bit. Get that under there. There we go. All right, and give that a little squeeze. All right, now, before I put those final screws in there, let's pop a battery in it. And keep our fingers crossed, see if it works. All right, date's okay, we don't care about that. So far, so good. Let's turn it back to something simple, auto. So far, so good. See if our zoom works. Looks like it does. All right. Hit the power on that again. All right, we'll put our last couple screws in there. And the one I took out of the bottom, which I never needed to. Wasn't sure though. Okay, our side screws. And again, if you've seen any of my other videos, I always lay these parts out as if I were taking a picture with the camera. So just off camera, the screws for the right side are on the right side. The screws for the left side are on the left side. Top one is the farthest one for me. Bottom one is the closest to me. And I'll fully test this, but I won't make you sit through the rest of that because nobody cares. If it didn't work, I would backtrack and see if I could figure out what I did, which I've done in some other cameras, but looks like we're good to go. Lens assembly on a WB350F Samsung. These are neat little cameras. I like them. Thanks for checking me out. I hope it helps somebody out. Check out our other videos. Have a great day.